2006 was your first collaboration with your probably most prolific collaborator, which was director Joe Wright mm -hmm. with Pride and Prejudice. Can you talk about your first experiences meeting Joe and uh, what he's like as a director? The meeting didn't go well. We hated each other. Um, he, he, came, he flew over to Montreal where I was shooting a film called The Jacket and I had to be up at five in the morning the next morning. Again, Pride and Prejudice was something that I didn't want to go for because it was my favorite book and um, I couldn't bear the rejection if he turned me down. So um, I'd actually said to my agents, please don't put me up for this. And they'd said, no, we're putting you up for it. And because Pirates had come out, the producers were obviously very keen. Joe Wright wasn't very keen. Um, so he'd been forced. And was that clear? Right oh, oh no, he's not a man that minces his words. He makes things very clear, yeah. So he came into the interview not wanting you, and you came into the interview not wanting it. Yes, and he was two hours late, because he'd flown in from New York and something had happened. So it was suddenly 10 o'clock in the evening, and I had to get up at 4.30 in the morning, and I was shooting the next day, and he was really angry. And I was kind of like, oh, this guy really hates me, and what am I doing here anyway? It, it was an awful meeting. Um, and for some reason... Everybody persuaded us to meet again in London, sort of two weeks later. And we met in a, in a, in a, in a hotel bar and suddenly just clicked. And, uh, and instantly I started telling him to fuck off and he started telling me to fuck off. And that's been our relationship ever since. It's a beautiful chemistry. It's a wonderful chemistry, yeah. Can you talk about your experiences making Pride and Prejudice because it was a, a project that a lot of people had trepidation about. There had been the classic miniseries before yeah. and it was, as you said yourself, a much beloved classic. Yeah, it was terrifying and I think, you know, particularly with books like that but particularly Pride and Prejudice, you know, people who love it see themselves as Elizabeth Bennet, you know. Um, so you are never going to be the image that they have of Elizabeth Bennet because it will be them so it was it was kind of terror it was terrifying going into it um, and, and how much were you able to bring your version of Elizabeth Bennet to well the part? it was something that I'd been ab absolutely obsessed by since I was I think about seven or eight and in fact I had a doll's house at home that was Pemberley and I had all the characters in and it has a miniature version my mum still has it at home it has a miniature version of Pride and Prejudice in it so it really was it had been a complete and utter obsession I, I'm dyslexic so I hadn't actually read the novel but I had it on book tape and again just used to listen to the book tape over and over and over and over and over so I, I had a very clear sense of who she was because she was me you know as she is everybody else you know she was me um, so I did know that I wanted how I, I knew what I wanted to do mm -hmm. but it was still a terrifying thing. And your collaboration with Joe, did it permit that kind of uh, creative passion to come through for Elizabeth? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think with Joe, you know, he, he, at that particular point, being a teenager who's come out of sort of big blockbuster films, there was a lot of criticism and a lot of people saying she's shit, she can't act, she can't do it, what's the point? She's pouty, she's thin. And of course, being, being a teenager, you do read it all and you do listen to it all and you go, oh my God, I'm that awful. I really am that awful. And, you know, Joe was the first person, actually with John Mabry, I mentioned a, a, a film just before called The Jacket, um, and I've worked with John Mabry twice, and, and I had both, both of them back to back, who went, put your head down, work, you can do this, prove them wrong. And, you know, anybody needs that kind of support, and I was incredibly lucky to have got it at 19, you know, at that particular time where they just went, you can do it. And that belief really, really was sort of, has meant so much and continues to, you know, I've made three films with Joe and two films with John and, and they've both been amazing. 